Hello again, this video is to help you set up your sync between Canvas and PowerSchool. So if we set up this sync, that means that grades should go straight over to PowerSchool so that you don't have to grab your assignments from Canvas and then manually input them in PowerSchool every single time. So what we're going to do is start with our class here. Now I've just kind of picked a random class. We have this pulled up. Over on the left hand side, we're going to find assignments. So assignments may be in a different location for you, but you should have a tab here labeled assignments. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And it's going to pull up all my assignments in their categories. So I've got assignments, I've got discussions, I've got individual assignments, I've got quizzes, special projects. Now, I've already gone in and put in some other groups, but we're going to go ahead and put in that last one that I haven't put in yet. I'm going to click add group here. So we've got the plus sign and group. We're going to click that. Now, I need to name that group. We have four categories, at least here at the high school, that we are putting um, grades under. So we've got tests and projects, homework and or participation. We've got uh, tests and quizzes and one other one that I don't remember. Oh, tests and projects and then quizzes is the other one. There you go. I remember. All right. So what I'm going to name this next one is I'm going to name this one homework and or participation. Now, I've already typed this in a bunch of times, so it's going to just come up for me, so I can click that, but you might need to type out the whole thing. Um, you can just name it homework. Again, the name doesn't matter. You can have it exactly as it would be in PowerSchool, which would be helpful, which is what I've done here, um, but if it just says homework, you're still going to be able to sync it. So I'm going to go ahead and click save, and that added that assignment category at the very bottom. Excuse me there. And now I've also added tests and projects, classwork, and I didn't add quizzes because it was already there. So you might already have a quizzes section that you don't have to add. Now, these assignment categories, we used to just be able to download them. Now you have to actually create one and then sync it. So I'm going to grab, let's go with classwork, and I'm going to drag it up to the top here. Grab it on the far left hand side, all those dots. And we're going to drag it all the way up to the top. No, nope, assignments wants to be first. I guess it's not going to let me. We'll be able to drag it around when we get there. Uh, maybe I'll drag assignments down. Let's see if that works. There we go. Classwork on top. That's what I wanted. So now to link this to your power school, you're going to find our little skinny snowman up here at the top right. And we're going to click on that. And then down underneath uh, Disable Sync to Power School, we should have Sync Sys Categories, S-I-S. So we're going to click that, and we've got a bunch of different sections. This is all of our different assignment categories, and we need to make sure they are associated with an assignment category in Power School. So I'm going to go to Classwork, which is the one we were starting with. I'm going to click this arrow. So it was pointing to the right, now it's pointing down, and we see that it's unassociated. So that means it's not going anywhere in PowerSchool. If I click that down arrow, we have four categories in Power PowerSchool that we can add that to. So the one I want is Classwork, because that's what I named this. So I'll click Classwork, and I can do that for all the other ones while I'm here. So I've got tests and projects. We're going to associate that with tests and projects. We're going to associate quizzes with quizzes. And we're going to associate homework and or participation with, you guessed it, homework and or participation. So then down here at the bottom, we have this nice little button that says sync categories. If we go ahead and click that, it'll wait. It'll kind of seem like nothing happened, but if you look, those categories are now green with the word synchronized. That means they are connected to PowerSchool now. And again, these things might take a few minutes to fully kick in, but they should be synchronized. So I'll go ahead and close that. Now, all I need to do is find the assignments that I want to sync to PowerSchool. Now, if you already have assignments in there, you may not want to sync them because that could mess with your grading scheme. It could add assignments that aren't actually there. So what we're going to do is just move this one here, but you may not want to move them if you already have them in your gradebook. Does that make sense? 
I don't know how you could answer me, but there we go. All right, so I'm going to click on this assignment here under discussions. This first group discussion, I've decided that I want that to go into classwork. I'm going to click and drag it up to classwork. So I can click and drag, or all the way over here at the right, we can click on the skinny snowman again, and we can click move to, and then we just move it to where we want it. Um, classwork is where I want it, but that's where it already is. And then we can also say where we put it at the top, um, at the bottom, or before or after a certain assignment that's already in there. So we can pick where we want it to go, and we can click move. Um, since I didn't tell it anywhere, it's not going to move anywhere. So now I have this discussion here. I need to do a little bit of editing before it will sync to PowerSchool. So first thing, I need to make sure it has a due date. I think I went in and already put that one here. So I go to the assignment. We're going to edit it and make sure it has a due date down here. Ah, it does not. We're going to make that due date this Friday. I know you're probably in the future. And then I also want to click this little check mark here. And since it says it's not out of any points, I'm going to go ahead and add some points in there. Um, you can go through and edit your assignments through this way. Um, so making sure students can actually access it. How many points is it worth? How's that going to display? What group or category does it go in? Who gets it? When is it available? Lots of different things there. All right, so I'm going to click Save and Publish because we've added points and we've added a due date. Very nice. We're going to go back into assignments now. So once that comes up, I've now got my group discussion. I've got a check mark here, and I've got a check mark here. So this check mark means it's published. This check mark means it's synced to PowerSchool. So if that is for some reason gray, go ahead and click it. Now, what might happen is if that doesn't automatically turn green, there might be a warning saying, hey, this one can't sync. Sometimes the title is too long. Sometimes there's not a due date. Um, sometimes something is a little fishy. So if this is ever gray, there's something fishy going on with your assignment. Now, this is all set and ready to go. So this will now link to PowerSchool as long as we tell it to do that. So now we've got to go into our grades. Since this class hasn't done anything, it's a homeroom class, so it's kind of a throwaway. I don't have any grades. So um, it's not going to sync anything because there's no grades. But what I can do is go up here. Once I have my grades ready, I can click on sync. And it says sync to SIS. I just click that. And then... I post my grades. So that group discussion that we just added is the only thing that's ready to sync, and I can click post grades. Um, I'm not going to do that right now because this isn't the class. It shouldn't go in as anything, but I'm not going to do that right now. If you click that, it will then transport over to PowerSchool. Woohoo! All right, hopefully that was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. I'll be around. Um, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.